Hi there, welcome back to the Football Spy Show and another week of top transfer gossip. Let's start with our first transfer roundup. And there are all sorts of reports in Spain that Manchester United's search for a new midfielder could be homing in on the Real Madrid star Jabby Alonso. The significance for Liverpool fans is obvious. We'll keep you posted here on Football Spy as to whether United follow up any interest and whether Alonso would be prepared to go. Also breaking in Portugal, uh, Andre Villas Boas, the Porto coach, apparently has told the club that he wants to leave for Chelsea. Details of that on the Mirror Football website. Again, we'll keep you posted as to what happens there. Now, Spurs look like winning the battle for Luka Modric. The word on the street is that Chelsea will not stop until they get Tottenham's Croatian midfielder. They've had another bit of around £25 million turned down. But take a look at this in the Independent. They say that Modric is expected to issue a statement in which he will backtrack on the explosive interview he gave at the weekend saying that he wants to join Chelsea. Now, the Spurs chairman, Daniel Levy, expected to stick to his guns after issuing his own statement at the weekend that Modric will not be sold. Harry Redknapp, we understand, is in Spain looking at targets. Spurs fans, it could be a big summer for you in the transfer market as the club bid to punch their weight in the title race. Could this story yet have a happy ending for you? Now, no happy ending for Manchester City or United in their chase for the Udinese winger Alexis Sanchez. He's got eyes only for Barcelona, who are understood to have moved quickly to do the deal. The Telegraph say a post from Sanchez's agent, Fernando Felekovic, appears to suggest it's all over by the shouting. We're being told that on PA this morning, Chile have allowed uh, Sanchez to leave uh, for Barcelona so that he can tie that deal up. Now, let's spin you through a few more. And in France, La Voix du Nord is reporting that Manchester United and Real Madrid are going to find out today, uh, well, the next couple of days, uh, which of them has won the race to sign the Lens defender Raphael Varane. He's 18, he's highly rated. Both clubs made bids of around £9 million for him. The Lens president, Gervais Martel, has been speaking to La Voix du Nord. He says, I hope things will be finalised within the next 48 hours. Right now, this is Carlos Idris Khamenei. He's a very talented goalkeeper. He plays for Espanyol in Spain. The Mirrors say today that he's hoping to finalise a £2 million move to Fulham to work with new boss Martin Yol. He was actually due in London for talks last night, but obviously his signing would plunge the future of Fulham's current keeper, uh, Mark Schwarzer, into doubt. Remember, he could have moved to Arsenal last summer, but he was prevented from doing so by the then boss, uh, Mark Hughes. Let's go to the mail for some more because uh, uh, Aston Villa willing the race to sign Blackpool striker DJ Campbell, Stoke, Fulham and Sunderland all in for him. Uh, the mail also say that Bolton boss Owen Coyle set to raid his former club Burnley to sign the fullback Tyrone Mears. The Express say Norwich boss Paul Lambert has bid £1.75 million for the Huddersfield winger Anthony Pilkington. And the Sun say that West Ham have lost the striker Victor Obina to Lokomotiv Moscow. He didn't want to stay at Upton Park, but Inter Milan didn't want him back either. Time to take you around Planet Football for our global roundup. And in Spain, we told you two weeks ago that Real Madrid are keen on the Benfica left back Fabio Quentrao. Now, Real have offered £22 million, plus the midfielder Royston Drenthe uh, for him. In Portugal, Abola reporting that Real want to cash in on the defender Ezequiel Garay after receiving offers of around about £9 million. Also in Portugal, Benfica keen on the Argentine playmaker. Pablo Piatti. He's 22. He scored eight goals in 35 appearances. Ojogo say Almira, his club, not interested in any offer below £9 million. We told you last week about the South Korea striker Park Chu Young. He's holding out for a move in vain, it would appear, uh, to Liverpool. Well, he's at Ren in France are interested in him. They're the latest club to express an interest after Lille, PSG and Bolton came sniffing around. The Ren uh, general director Pierre de Rossi has told RMC Sport in France that he's keen on Park and the Hamburg winger Jonathan Petroipa. In Turkey, being reported that Galatasaray tied up the signing of Atletico Madrid defender Thomas Ujfalusi. And in Greece, uh, Panathinaikos are meeting with Lazio for talks over the striker Jabril Cisse. Lazio want him to partner Miroslav closer next season.
back to the Premier League and Kicker magazine in Germany say Borussia Dortmund very keen on the Arsenal striker Nicholas Bentner. Sticking with Arsenal and the Mail say that Arsenal face having to pay at least £12 million for the Blackburn defender Chris Samba as his old club Hertha Berlin get 15% of any fee for him. All the papers here in England suggesting Aston Villa could be about to hijack Liverpool's move for the Blackpool midfielder uh, Charlie Adam. I'd be surprised, uh, I'd be amazed actually, if Adam were to choose Villa Park over Anfield, where he's been desperate to play for some time, but money does talk. The Times say that Manchester United have put the 22-year-old French winger Gabriel Aubertin up for sale. He's made only four starts last season uh, in the league. The Telegraph say that Chelsea sniffing around the Everton midfielder Marouane Fellaini and Sky Sports are reporting that Birmingham are going to tie up the signing of the 25-year-old midfielder Magaro Gomez from Dundee when the transfer window officially opens. The Sun say that Wolves are set to sign the left-back Paul Konchesky, uh, who has no future at Liverpool. Now, our Hey Big Spender competition returns tomorrow, so keep your entries for that coming in. Also, we'll go through your messages as well. Thank you also for your feedback as well. Very much appreciated. The Football Spy Show is back in the morning. I'll see you then.